we're going to be putting to the test the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops. Hey, hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Nabs. So I'm really excited because, as you guys know, I've got the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops and I love me some cover effects. I mean, I feel like for the most part, everything they do is pretty damn bomb. So, I've got the shade uh, 110N here, and the custom cover drops, which you can do is you can add them to anything, like your moisturizer, your primer, your BB cream, and it's supposed to give you like more fuller coverage. At least it's buildable, so sheer to full. Um, but this is really bomb because I can just mix it in with my primer or with my moisturizer and I'm all about that, honey. So let me open this baby up. Oh, okay, so the bottle is black when you look at it and it's got a little teardrop, a uh, little cutout here so you can see your shade. I almost expected it to be clear, I'm not gonna lie. And it's got a nice dropper and I tried my best to match myself in Ulta because that's where I got it from. They have a new cover effects little station there. And honestly, I mean, it was the first time I'd walked into an Ulta near me in a long time. So I was like, wait a second, was this always here? And they told me it was new, but I don't know, maybe if you live in a bigger city, <laughs> you might've seen this like a long time ago. So I'm excited. They say that all you need is like one to two drops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go dig in my collection of primers bring one out and then mix this in there and we can apply it together and see how it looks. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer. Now, before you say anything, I know that you see this. <laughs> I'm gonna explain, let me explain. So, I'm trying a new technique. I want to prevent makeup from setting into my fine lines, my laugh lines. And I heard, I'm testing this out, that if you take Urban Decay's Primer Potion and you put it in there and then you set it with some translucent setting powder and go about your day doing the rest of your makeup, it's supposed to help. So that's why I look crazy. Just want to warn you. Now, let's move on. Um, I'm going to mix the primer that I have. It is my favorite primer of choice for the summer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've got my little container here and I'm going to add it in and then add a few drops of the custom uh, drops. See, the only thing that I hate about having to mix it is I don't like wasting product. It hurts my heart, guys, it hurts. But um, this is, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's right there. And I'm gonna add a couple of drops. So I'm gonna add two drops because I want something a little, ooh, okay. Three slipped out, three drops, <laughs> three drops it is. So I'm gonna mix it with the back of a makeup brush just to get the color nice and looking good. Show you guys what it looks like right there. Actually, it looks pretty nice. So I can tell that I'm gonna need a lot more, but I'm gonna dot some of this here. And I'm gonna take my little uh, Eco Tool sponge and go in. Wow. So first off, first impressions, coverage is actually very, very light with just those few drops. So it looks like two drops is like just good as you can see for light coverage. So I'm already out of my primer. That means I need to add more. This time I'm going to add four drops because I want to see what the difference in the coverage is. and mix that up. Honestly, I'm like wondering if this Eco Tool sponge is soaking everything up. Just to be sure, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my uh, foundation brush. Taking the, um, what is this? It's a Luxie 532 Around Top Blender. So now, see we got a whole bunch of product on there. Now let's apply it. See, now I'm getting a whole lot more coverage. So it looks like this is a lot better with a uh, regular brush. So, I mean, so far I really like it. 
I think that the coverage actually looks super natural. I will say that I know on camera this looks a lot redder than it is in person. In person this actually like matches my natural skin tone, like my chest down here pretty well. So I just want to let you guys know if you're wondering about that, I promise you in person it does look a lot nicer. Sometimes things don't translate as nicely on camera as I'd like them to. That's okay. Just as long as you guys know the truth. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my concealer and all that jazz, and then I'll be back to kind of, you know, share my thoughts with you guys and um, what I think about these. Okay guys, so I finished my makeup. Now my initial first thoughts are, this is really good if you definitely want something that's like a sheer to like medium coverage. I do have a few spots on my face like right here and stuff that it did not cover at all. So if you want to remedy that, if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation, I would definitely suggest spot concealing or using a color corrector beforehand. Otherwise, I think the finish is really, really beautiful. I have like a nice soft glow to me. Um, and I think that the actual color was like spot on for me for my summer skin tone right now. Uh, I do want to see how long this is going to last. Also, side note, you guys check out my smile line area. It actually blended out quite nicely. I'm going to come back, check in with you guys, and we're going to see how well this did. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've been wearing this foundation for about five and a half hours and I really, really like it. Like. I just feel like my skin looks smooth, like smooth like butter. And I think personally, although I love like the Maybelline Fit Me, this foundation looks a lot smoother than the actual Maybelline Fit Me. Granted, there's a really, really big price difference, but you know, I just kind of wanted to point that out because I feel like everybody has the matte and poreless so it's an easy thing to compare to. Now, I will say I love that you can just mix it with anything. You can use it to make your foundation darker or lighter, depending on what shade you have. Um, I feel like like the actual custom drops concept is like really like interesting and unique. So I'm going to definitely continue using this um, because Honestly, I'm like 50 different shades of brown all year round, so every two weeks I feel like my shade changes a little bit and I gotta match it, you know? But honestly, I want to show you guys a few pictures I took in the actual sunlight and they look like gorgeous just gorgeous like I don't even <laughs> I don't even have any words um, I'm really surprised and I love the actual color match like I said uh, to my like chest area and my face I think it actually matches really nicely and I love the selection of colors that uh, cover effects has I think they do a really great job as far as branching down the medium tan and deep and dark color ranges I think they're fabulous um, one thing that I just do want to note is I think it made a really big difference that I set this with the Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. I found that setting it with the Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder like made it really just like almost transfer proof. Not quite, you know, like if I took a white paper towel and blotted my face, some would come off. But when I went to go hug my husband, for example, like I noticed that my foundation didn't come off on the side of his cheek. And that was really nice, you know. I didn't have to be as careful when I was like changing my shirt and stuff like that. So I love that. All around, I think it's great. I don't think it has like extreme like oil controlling benefits. I think you definitely have to use a mattifying primer if you want to control your oily areas. But like look now, like I'm glowing. And honestly, I was just downstairs helping my husband clean out our garage. So <laughs> I think that the makeup held up pretty well. As far as my smile lines, uh, I noticed a decrease in the actual creasing in that area it's not 100% but you know I gotta give it some time I was just trying something new and I wanted to keep you guys updated if you guys have the custom cover drops what do you think about them and um, if you want to get them 
let me know down below as well. Also, I need some help from you guys. Those of you guys that actually have creasing in your smile lines, what do you use besides primer to help prevent this? Because I'm trying to remedy this situation, you know? <laughs> so I really look forward to hearing your guys' recommendation. Don't forget to check out some of my playlists that I've got going on on my channel. I've got some really fun videos. So if you're brand new to my channel or it's been a while, you haven't dived back, you know, into some playlists, now's a really good time. And if you're new and you're still here, you haven't subscribed, girl, what you waiting for? Do it now. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.